Hey everyone, what's up? So today I'm gonna show you my number one go-to recipe for when I really don't wanna cook, my mouth-watering braised tomatoes. I use this for my pasta sauce, I use this to add to some crusty bread, it's really delicious. As you can see, I'm starting out with about four to five cloves of garlic. You don't need to use that much garlic if you don't want to, but I love garlic, guys. I love this recipe because it is so flavorful, it is so delicious. You'll taste it and you'll think that you are a magnificent cook in your kitchen. Everybody else will as well. I love this dish for that reason, but honestly, it's one of the easiest dishes in my recipe repertoire. So as you can see, I'm mincing up my garlic, getting it ready to add. And next we are going to prep a large shallot. Shallots I like to think of as a milder version of a red onion and you can see it sort of looks like a red onion Just like a very skinny red onion um, It's got a milder flavor, um, but it works really really well in this recipe I also like to use it just for my plain old red sauce as well I'm gonna wipe my counter space then I'm going to chop up a carrot and you guys can see this is an old gnarly carrot I don't really actually like to peel my carrots. I used to, but then somebody told me, you're like wasting so much carrot by doing that. What's the worst that can happen? Just wash it really well, which is exactly what I did. So I'm chopping up a carrot and here are our tomatoes. So I'm using 18 to 24 small Campari tomatoes. They're really small. They're like a little bit bigger than grape tomatoes, which is why I'm using so many. Campari tomatoes are known for their sweetness and their lack of acidity. They're also incredibly juicy tomatoes. But if you can't find any Campari tomatoes, you can also use maybe like five to eight large heirloom tomatoes, or even like, you know, 10 to 12 Roma tomatoes. So I salted them up really well. I'm gonna set them aside while we prep the rest of our veggies. So I've got a small Dutch oven and to that I'm gonna add about a tablespoon or two of extra virgin olive oil and in goes my shallots. They look so pretty. Oh my God, I love that sight. And then we're gonna add our garlic as well. It's a lot of garlic, but trust me, you're gonna appreciate the garlic intensity of this sauce. And then we're gonna add our carrots. People are always like, why are you adding carrots? I really like my red sauce on the sweeter side, but I don't like to add sugar or sweetener. That's actually salt, guys, not sugar. Um, and so I like to use things like carrots to kind of bring out the natural sweetness of this sauce. Now, as you can see, we're already getting a lot of color on our shallots and our garlic. I just love that. I'm gonna give that a little bit of a stir. And then we're gonna add a tablespoon or two of Italian seasoning. So you can just pick this up at the store. If you don't have Italian seasoning, you can just add any old dried herbs that you like. I'm gonna deglaze the bottom of the pot with some balsamic vinegar. And again, what that's gonna do is it's gonna intensify the flavors of our tomatoes. It's also gonna add some sweetness. And in goes the star ingredient, the tomatoes. They look like rubies. I feel like such a rich lady here. Oh my God, they look so good. These Campari tomatoes, if you guys can get your hands on them, I'm telling you, they're gonna rock your world. Look at that. So we're just gonna stir everything up to make sure that our tomatoes are as evenly coated as possible. And then we're gonna add some bay leaves, three bay leaves. I set that aside for about an hour. So what am I gonna do during that hour? Well, I'm actually gonna start kneading some dough for some bread. This is my focaccia bread, guys, and you can find the recipe for this. There's a link in the description below to my website. It's one of my most popular recipes. It's really easy to make, and it goes perfectly with these tomatoes. So I'm just causing those dimples those hallmark dimples to the focaccia. It's one of my favorite parts about making this bread. Look at that, it is so gorgeous. This focaccia bread is so good. Anyone can make this bread, even if it's your first time ever making bread. Wow, okay, so there are our tomatoes. They are brazen and a brewing. They look incredible. Look at all the juices that came out of those tomatoes. I didn't add any liquid to this, guys. So I'm gonna give it a taste. You always gotta give it a taste to make sure it tastes exactly the way you want it to, and my God, it totally does. 
almost never go wrong with these tomatoes. If you guys like this uh, video, please hit that like button below. And if you don't want to miss out on any Korean vegan recipes, make sure to subscribe. You can find the full recipe in the description below, as well as a link to some of the kitchen equipment that I use to make this video. And at the end of this video, you'll find links to some of the other videos that I've done here. Have a great day.